5A quarterfinals between Little Rock Christian Academy and Lake Hamilton. The Lady Warriors relied heavily on the scoring of sophomore guard Whitley Rogers. She led LRCA with 15 points, scoring 12 of them in the second quarter, but the Lady Wolves had too many offensive weapons. The give and go between Braley Winfrey and Sanaya Cook for two. Later on the break, Dizia Christian misses but gets a second chance for two of her 10 points. Lake Hamilton rolls 45 to 28, advancing to the state semifinals on Saturday at noon. Lake Hamilton boys trying to get like the girls and compete in the quarterfinals, taking on Russellville. It's Donovan Villarreal, 23 points and 10 boards for him. Cyclones attack inside next time as Luke Stump gets an easy two off the assist. Ty Robinson led the way for the Wolves with 22 points and seven rebounds. Russellville led 24 to 22 at half. Second half, a beautiful hop step and finish by LeBron Jack. No, I'm just kidding. LeBron Christian putting Lake Hamilton up nine with four minutes left. Cyclones made a late run, but it was too little too late. Lake Hamilton advances 55-52. Wolves face Bologna in the quarterfinals tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Benton girls took on Mountain Home in the 5A first round prior to that. Lady Panthers came out blazing hot on offense. Kale Elrod lays it in for two. Then check out Ashley Wallace using her pivot in the post. Benton led 10-4 after the first, but the Lady Bombers took over in the second quarter. Jayla Yonker sinks a three. Lake and Moore drives for two of her game high 16 points. Mountain Home went on a 13 nothing run and led at the break. Benton trying to come back in the fourth with 30 seconds left. Wallace hits for three. She had 12 points. Lexi Duck cuts the deficit to just three with her layup. Unfortunately, the Lady Panthers couldn't make a full comeback as they fall 40 to 37, ending their season. Mountain Home will now face Bologna tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the quarterfinals. Pine Bluff and Van Buren tied at 38 in the third. Braylon Hall at the buzzer. It's good from downtown, 41-38 Pine Bluff. In the fourth, Van Buren tie it back up thanks to a three from A.G. Denton. Few seconds later, it's Braylon Hall again. This time with the steal goes coast to coast for the lay-in. Hall had eight points, but the pointers were unfazed as Glavine McDonald sinks a cold-blooded tray to give Van Buren a 50 to 47 lead. Zebras responded quickly though. Randy Emerson has ice in his veins, gives Pine Bluff the lead back with two and a half remaining. Let's head on to the floor to see how this one ended. Caden Higgins sinks two clutch free throws to put Pine Bluff up 53 to 50. Last shot for Van Buren. The pointers had two chances to tie it back up with a three, but were unsuccessful as Pine Bluff hangs on, surviving 53 to 50 and advances to play Jacksonville in the quarterfinals tomorrow at 5.30. And I spoke with Coach Dixon right after today's game, and he was very, very frustrated because there was a lot of offensive foul calls on the Zebras. But as I just stated, that they end up coming out with the win 53 to 50. This game is going to determine who moves on to the state semifinals on Saturday, and the opponent that they'll either face is either Alma or Parkview. They won't find that out until tomorrow. At last check, we're looking at Benton up 39 to 36. I told you guys that that lead that they had was withering away. Mamel is inching towards that lead, trying to tie this game up and make it an interesting fourth quarter. Live from Lions Arena here in Searcy, Josh Barian, Fox 16 Sports. Thanks a lot, Josh. feel like I need to just get you to slide out of the way so we can sit here and watch some basketball for a while, at least for the rest of the newscasts. Thanks a lot, man. Great job today.